Okay. Oh jeez, he seems wasted. Oh man, you know I've been dying to tell you guys. You know, you know what is this upbeat music? All this, right? It's because of his true love. He's been trying to create the perfect recipe of planet combinations to bring about the existence of his dream girl. You know, his true love. What? Yeah, since Glorcon was able to see all the future eventualities, he's engineered the one that would result in hello, 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 Please hi. The crystal, crystal creatures, creatures into, into the drunk, drunk abstainer's eyes. eyes. I'm not drunk. I'm just talking the truth. <laughs> Feels better. We are three. If only we could be four. Uh, all right. So, so, what, what do you want us to do? To, you know, to help you get to be four. What do you think, Dum Dum? You have to find two more of the crystal creatures and then somehow get them plugged into Glorcon's eyeholes. God damn it! That will unite the four of us and we will once again be back normal and the, the whole thing, the reunited thing that we talked about earlier in the game. All right. Okay. We're gonna head out. Good, head out. And as you walk back to the telepod, we'll just go ahead and let you know that, you know, we don't know what's going on. You know, our brains are all amok. You know, it's all muddy. We can't really predict the future. Well, I thought we would right be done. Because Glorcon's Apparently not. out there changing the present. You know, he's doing things and we don't know what the hell those little rippling effects are. We don't even know what he's up to. We have no idea what he's doing, but all we know is. It's, we know for sure he's just, just trying to bring a, bring about the the true love of his life, and then you gotta just get those special creatures. Uh, anyways, what do you what do you what do you guys want to talk about? We're all talking in one. Yes, mate. Chirurpy and Trover, good work. I see you've uh, got the abstainers all linked up. That's good to hear. Now you're gonna have to get those last two crystals, and you're gonna want to go meet my buddy, one of my pals, a fella named. George, he's got the next pair of special creatures stored in a secret place, secret planet. Mm -hmm. He'll probably hand them over to you with little effort on your part. He's a good dude, one of my best pals. And uh, hope you guys, uh, Cherorpian, you doing? You feeling pretty good? You doing okay? I'm doing amazing. Right, good. That's good. That's good to hear. I'm happy to hear that you're feeling good. All right, get out there, and we're getting close. We're getting close to the final part of this whole thing. Finally. <laughs> Boss, I'm feeling a little weird right now because we just found out Glorcon's motivation is just true love. Oh, it makes you feel weird, does it? Does that make you feel weird, Chair Orpian? No. Yeah, I didn't think it was relatable. <laughs> love is a joke anyways. No one's ever felt real love. That's, that's a sign of a sociopath lunatic if you feel love. <laughs> relatable, my shoe. You two get out of there, get out of here and go talk to Ch uh, uh, George. You're Wait, a bunch what? of do doofuses. Go, get your work done. George, go talk to him. Take the telepod there. Hurry up. Get a hustle on. Uh, weird elf. <laughs> How is that relatable? Something interesting to tell me? Oh. One in the... Oh, hey! What's going on? I'm bathtub guy. Oh, shit! Oh, I I'm so sorry! Uh... Hey, partner, I, I don't think this is George. Uh, the telepod might have misfired. Oh, hey, put... Now you better not do that again. Okay, 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 right. So, what I was saying was... Yes? I'm George, but when I'm in the bathroom, people call me... Bathtub guy, you guys here to play a little midnight shuffle? I mean, listen, we do uh, have big stuff to do, but uh, I, well, I, maybe what's midnight shuffle? You know, midnight shuffle is when two consensual adults tuck in their chub, hop in a <laughs> tub, and sit knee to knee. Yeah, no, I no. Why would we want to do that? Cause it feels good. Look. I gotta be at a birthday party in about an hour, but if we hurry, I'm sure we can get it done. All right, look, hey, listen, we're not here for some midnight Should shuffle, Should we throw okay? this TV into his bathtub and then electrocute oh, his shit. ass? Well, why did you say so? I know, boss, that SOB owes me 13 space dollars and 15 space hairs. <laughs> he came over one time for a little cream dream action. Oh, my God. That's when two dudes turn up the AC really I high, don't care. <laughs> then sit in the bathtub full of cream corn what? and scream ever loving ass off. Ooh, we is fun. <laughs> anyway, 12 days go by. And we finally get out of the tub, right? I mean, look at our bodies were all pruny. My fingers were so tiny I wanted to touch them. And just as he's about to leave, I go, hey, 
Hey, man! That'll be 13 space dinero. Need? Hey, what the? Okay, doesn't make sense. Holy shit! Partner, you just killed this guy! That's good! George, or whatever, bathtub guy, whatever his name is! How many innocent lives is this now? Four? Five? Are we even the good guys anymore? You're no I mean, better Jesus than me. Jesus Christ! As soon as we see an opportunity to kill someone, <laughs> we do it! Yes. Pretty soon people are gonna just need saving from us! Not that, it, not that any of that matters, because without the crystal babies, we can't continue! This is crumbelievable! You broke the progress of the game! It's nope. over. You can't progress anymore. I'm juggling a duck. Start the whole game. And start all the way over from the very beginning. And when you get to this part, don't kill this bathtub. Oh character. come on, that's fun. Damn it. Wait. So we have to actually restart? <laughs> Fuck. Okay. If it's the end of the world, might as well get into real estate. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, sorry. Pat, bathtub guy. George, whatever. The world is at stake. Can you just hand over the crystal babies, please? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was being such a nuisance to my two uninvited guests. Look, I'm sorry. We're not trying to be an asshole. Oh, you don't need to try. It just comes natural to you. Okay, I'm sorry. Stuff your sorries in a sack. What? Well, I don't got them. They're on loan. To tech world. Oh hey, oh. shit! I know where tech Finally, we got an information. World, Great. Now let's see if you know where the door is. Here. That means leave. Bye. Jesus Christ! He was talking a lot about bullshit. <laughs> wow, partner! Would you take a look at this cool Whoa. tech world? This gear world? Man, this is gonna be a fun one to explore. I can't wait to dive into every nook and cranny of- it Looks like they're trapped in some force fields inside of a weird mech machine. Let's go get them. Do we have babies in this level? Oh no, we're finished with that. Okay. So, we just have, have exploration. That's it. Okay. Oh crap, these guys again? Hello. Stupid dumb pieces of shit. Fuck you up, fuck you shit them. Bye. Fuck face it. Hey, what the ass. fuck? Uh, you're both Bye. this time. We're not fucking around. Well, they died fast. <laughs> Man, those Glorcon clones, bunch of idiots. Uh, no idea how they keep popping up wherever we are. No time to soak in the landscape. We gotta get these these crystal creatures and then figure out a way how to get them into Glorcon's eyes. How do I pass this? I guess just going on these gears. I mean, I don't have really a choice. Partner, let's let's get. Whoa, whoa, these gears. Whoa, we're on the gears. I know it's fine. Like okay. I was saying, uh, let's get the things. I don't know. Is this too? Am I talking too long? <laughs> uh, I guess not there. No. Oh, shit. Here we go. Who thought they were gonna fucking get to the bottom of this. Not on our way. Get over here, son of a bitch. Hey, what the fuck? Piece of shit. Hey, what the fuck? Fuck a piece of shit. Hey, what the fuck? Fuck a piece of shit. God, I almost feel kind of bad for these guys. Almost. Not quite. Okay, first switch, I guess. All right, look what I see! Holy shit! Hey, partner, we gotta grab the crystal babies. They're down over by the telepod. We gotta get them and let's get the hell out of here. Seems fairly easy. Do we have some surprises? <laughs> oh, surprised. It's me. That's right. 
I, you played right into my hands. You're a couple of fucking idiots. The bomb I planted in your Shit. telepod was never intended to kill you or the abstainers. I wanted you to merge the abstainers. You wanna know why? Because of this. With this device, I'm gonna be able to merge a bunch of worlds using, that's right, the power of the abstainers. Now with the crystal babies plugged into my device, they're connected to the other three abstainers. Here we go. Mm. Oh. Hello. Or bye. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. And this is just the start. A small machine and just a handful of worlds. My next machine is going to include the power of your Tell dogs. Her. And it's going to merge 87 worlds down to five massive ones all in one fell swoop. Unfortunately, it's going to kill the other three abstainers as well as your dogs uh, in the process. What hey, a shame. Not dogs. Oh, what a shame. Too bad you're trapped here with no way out, no food, no water, no telepod. All according to plan. Now that everything's all jumbled up, no one's gonna be able to help find you. Good luck, you shit fucks. Suck my little balls. <laughs> you don't have balls. Oh god! Trevor. Oh jeez, partner! What now? Now we're trapped with no place to go. We're basically like Tom Hanks and Castaway. You know, we're gonna have to live the rest of our lives here. Let me be dramatic. I mean, this is it. Glorcon won. This is horrible. I mean, you know, we gotta focus on survival now. We got, we, we gotta just let everything. Forget about the dogs. Forget about you know trying to stop Glorcon. It's Tom Hanks style now from Castaway. You ever see that movie? I mean, you should check it out real quick. And then come Trevor. back. So we, we're gonna have to deal with this. I mean, this we're, we gotta start figuring out where we're gonna get food. We we should start <laughs> trying to build shelter. You done? What? Hello. Oh, hello. Excuse me. We need some help here. Hey, hey. Uh, what's what's going on? <laughs> Boss sent me out here. Said there was some commotion going on, so I uh, came in my Z telepod. Have you heard of one of those? Of course you haven't. It's my fucking telepod. It's the newest telepod. I just cleaned it outside, inside. I fucking love that telepod. Uh, it's just over there. The commotion you're talking about is just right around the corner. All right, cool. I'm going to solve this mystery. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm Pink Troll. There's going to be a whole spinoff of me on this game. I got a story, too. Huh? I'm Pink. I'm awesome. And I'm going to figure this shit out. Nobody's going to fuck with me. I'm Pink Troll. Uh... That pink fucking version of me. Okay. A lot of us has a fucking telepod. You heard him. It's right around the corner. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Hurry. It's our only way out of here. I don't want to be fucking trapped here for the rest of my life. Bye. Oh my god, that poor pink trover. What an idiot. <laughs> what a dummy. Holy shit. But also, wow, this is a really nice fancy telepod. I mean, it's better than that garbage we've been using this whole time. I mean, it's got different. It's different colors. I think this is a T-8000 model, wow! Ooh, it's got this? all kinds of doodads in here! Leafu huggers. I mean, it looks pretty much the same, but, I mean, there's all kinds of doodads in uh. it! Oh, hi! Hey, Trover, what, what did you find out? Oh, it's you two! Hi! I must have misdialed! Trover, Cherorpian, things are looking very grim. Several wor worlds have been merged. Your dogs and the abstainers are going to be killed. I can't get a hold of the abstainers. Glorcon's blocked access to their inner sanctum. Telepod is blocked from going there too. Come to my office. Hurry. I I'll brief you there on what the next steps are, but this shit is all totally changed. Shit's all fucked up. It's unpredictable. Everything just took a giant left turn. I'll see you at my office. Okay. We fucking played right into Glorcon's hands. We're... we're we're, we're, we're fucking idiots! <laughs> He's a, he, we thought he was so stupid, he's a fucking genius! He played us like a fiddle! And now he's got control of the abstainers? And, and he's, and he's, um... And he's got the crystal babies! We need those fucking crystal babies, you know? And, and he's got your dog still? We haven't really done anything, we haven't done much of anything, I mean... This might as well be the beginning of the video game! I mean, we might as well um... start the video game, like, right here, narratively! Because that's basically where we're at! We're basically at the fucking be beginning. Drama aside queen. from all the fucking, you know, narrative story arc with, between you and me and, like, you know, our friendship and all that stuff. I mean, we may as well... This may as well be the boot-up screen for the game right now. Uh. Because we're fucking back to square zero. This is fucked. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck are we gonna do? Shit, I didn't see this coming. D did you see this coming? Yes or no? Come on. Not your uh, me neither. Yeah. We're fucking fucked. This is ridiculous. This fucking guy. Okay. We, all, we underestimated him. 
We got it. We got to move. We got to move. Okay. Hi. Trover, Cherorpian, what took you so long to get back here? What were you playing with your ding dong? Yes or no? Mhm. Mm ah, you were playing with your ding dong. That's good. It's healthy. It's natural. <laughs> it's hot. It's sexy, and it's gonna help prepare you with what I have to tell you right now. Okay. A bunch of worlds are all destroyed. You know, th th this device is being powered by the abstainers through the crystal babies. All right, boss. W what do the abstainers say? I mean. What do the abstainers want us to do? We've lost all contact with the abstainers, Trover. The last thing they said to me was the Glorcon was planning to blow up a bunch of planets in the Tarvo galaxy, which is admittedly very, very far away and fairly inconsequential to us, but still, it's it's just a bunch of crazy bullshit. Wait a minute, so all, all he was going to do was just merge a handful of worlds together? That's a big deal, Trover. This motherfucker merged a bunch of worlds together, and uh, quite frankly, we don't know if he's going to do it again. I think he probably will. Well, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are we going to do? This guy's this guy played us. That's right, Trover, he played you. I, I've <laughs> been busy playing cards. Now shut the fuck up. L listen to me, I have a plan. We still have the coordinates to Glorcon's home planet. Okay. That's where he's keeping his world merging device. That's where his secret base is, and that's where the crystal babies are. The only problem is the planet is being shielded by a giant, impenetrable force field. All we have to do is shut down the force field. It's easy. Well, how do we do that? What, what the fuck? What, what are we supposed to do? Trover, we gotta blow up Mixed World. Mixed World is powering Gorkon's force field around his secret base planet. You, wanna, you want us to blow up a planet? A bunch of planets that are merged together? Are you fucking serious? You, you hear Trover, yourself? I don't want to hear any more of this out of you. <laughs> Scorpion, do you think you're up for this? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, confident, huh? Real confident. You better be. Oh. Uh and quit trying to play with your little ding dong. This is serious. We gotta save my ding dong, not yours. Localized area of the cosmos, and you're sitting there trying to play with your little ding dong in here. Anyway, Glorcon just destroyed a handful of worlds, merging them together, and he created one giant mixed world. That's a problem. He's also gonna kill your dogs, Cheerorpian, and the abstainers are gonna die too. I mean. Is that enough stakes for us? I mean, you got all that, Trover? You following along here? Yeah, yes, yes, okay, we got it. Okay, on this mixed world, there's a bomb planting site. Uh -huh. You're gonna need to plant a bomb in that receptacle. Where the fuck are we, where's this bomb you're talking about? Where, where, where? I'm getting to that, Trover, goddammit, if you let me <laughs> fucking finish my conversation. In order to get the bomb, you're gonna need to go talk to my good friend, one of the funniest guys I know, comedy guy. Oh, He's God. my best friend, one of my best friends, and he also happens to be a bomb expert. Oh. And, and he'll tell some hilarious jokes, He'll lift your spirits. Okay. His name is Comedy Guy. He has the bomb. So just whenever you're ready, go ahead and press the button on the telepod and it'll take you to Comedy Guy. And then from there, you'll go to Mixed World. Jesus Christ, what a hot mess. Partner, come on. Hit the button. Let's go. Let's go to... Man, this is a bunch of bullshit. I can't believe Glorcon played us like he did. And all this shit would have happened whether I had been with you or not. I, I, I could have been doing my own thing this whole time, you know? I, mean, I stuck around with you for what? And now we gotta blow up a planet? I mean, Jesus Christ. Hour. It sounds like what bad guys do, blowing up planets. Uh, Alright, look. Let's just check out Comedy Guy's routine, get the bomb, and then go blow up this entire planet. Come Ceasefire. 